So now this problem says a current flows along a lengthy thin body tube of radius r and with a longitudinal slit of width h. So let us say uh, we have a cylinder and this cylinder is a infinitely long cylinder. So there is a current in this cylinder. So there is a current, let us say I is the current that is upward direction. Now the question says there is a longitudinal slit of width h. So I have to have a width here, slit. So let me make a slit here. So for you it will be difficult, I can run easily. So you have in somewhere here you have a slit and this slit goes up to here and this slit is also again here ok so this slit I have to have something like this and this is something like this so there is a slit, a slit width is given to you that is H so slit width is H so if you look from the top so if you look from the top, it will look something like this. So you will see, so this is the top view of cylinder, but there is a width of, so you will not see something here. Are you getting around? So there is a opening and this width of this opening is H. Are you getting? And what is my task? My task is to calculate magnetic field inside the cylinder. So how we will proceed? So we will use the idea of superposition so this is equivalent to so this system is equivalent to if I have a current in this system and then I will have there is no current or a negative current in this direction so you have a current in this case that is inward and in this case you have current that is outward so you have a something like this so this is what I am saying are you able to understand or not so what I am saying this system is equivalent to you have a cylinder and this cylinder contains a current in this direction and there is a wire uh, basically this wire carries a current in the downward direction and now if you add these two system it will have equivalent system something like this there is no current in this region because plus and minus gets added and then you will have a cylinder are you getting or not so this is your cylinder are you getting so this is now we will use the same idea now I will assume this thickness is so small so in this case I have current I So let us say if I have this situation, what is the magnet? So this is my center. What is the magnetic field inside? So magnetic field inside is zero for any point. Are you getting or not? So you follow the Ampere loop law. So if you make a Amperean loop and if you find the current inside this is zero, so magnetic field inside any point is zero. Now to this wire, so let us say this wire here I have at any distance r I know so this distance r is basically mu naught i by 2 pi r but the current in this case is i dash are you getting or not so let us say what is my target my target is to find total magnetic field and let us calculate this as a b1 plus b2 are you getting what is b1 what is b2 so b1 is magnetic field due to this part and b2 is magnetic field due to this part are you getting or not so this is the magnetic field due to this part and this total is magnetic field b simple are you getting now b1 is 0 and what is b2 b2 is nothing but mu naught i dash by 2 pi r r is the distance from this to an in point. So 
so now I can write so this is equals to 0 plus mu naught i so this is mu naught i dash divided by 2 pi r and r is the distance from the slit now you see the total length of this wire periphery is 2 pi r so I will assume if you have 2 pi r current is i basically there is a assumption it's not 2 pi r so this length is 2 pi r minus h 2 pi r minus h has current i so 2 pi r minus h has a current i so per unit length this is the current so h length will have how much current so h thickness will have this multiplied by h this is basically i dash but now y dash is approximately equals to because h is very small with respect to this r so i can write this is equals to i h divided by 2 pi r are you getting or not so if i plug this value so this becomes mu naught by 2 pi r and this multiplied by i h divided by 2 pi r again so this becomes mu naught i h divided by 4 pi a square r a square simple are you getting or not uh, this is basically r uh, there is a mistake what is the mistake this r is capital r so this is given to you so this r is capital r and this r is a small r so where i have to find so this r is a capital r because 2 pi r is the capital r so I have to write everywhere this this is the capital R are you getting or not so this is capital R this is again capital R so let me write so this is 2 pi R this is again 2 pi R and I have to write here this value is R capital R so if I plug this capital R and here I have to also write so let us say capital R. So this becomes 4 pi r square r into r. Are you getting or not? So this is the same answer you have mu naught i h 4 pi r square r into r. So mu naught i h 4 pi r square r into r. What is the important point we have in this problem? Important point is superposition. We can be able to find what is the magnetic field due to this system. So what is the magnetic field due to this cut a cylinder inside any point inside this cylinder so now I will think this is same as so this system is same as so there is a current there is a current in the upper direction in this case along the periphery we will have current now I will think this system is same as let us say there is a whole cylinder complete cylinder that has a current I in the upper direction and there is a width h that has a current in the downward direction now if you add these two system so there will be a space where there is no current so you will get this system now for any point inside point there is distance r a small r from this slit there will be no magnetic field due to this one because there is a no current inside but this one act as infinitely long wire so to do due to this at a distance r i know the magnetic field that is mu naught i by 2 pi r only thing is i this time is not total i i this time is let us say i dash so we can calculate i dash if this is a total current i that length is 2 pi r minus h so 2 pi r minus h has current i so what will the current that will be taken by h so this is the current let us call this i dash now the i dash this h is very small so i dash can be also written as something like this now things are easy so we have to apply superposition